What up? So the, the winter solstice, man, very important time of the year. Winter solstice is dope. I remember one year, me and my brother, the prime minister, Minister Jew, was having this conversation and we was talking about the solar observation, simply observing the sun and the phases that it go through, spring, summer, fall, winter, uh, known as these four cardinal points, also known as the two equinoxes, the beginning of spring, uh, around March 21st, March 22nd, day and nights are even. And then six months later, at um, the fall equinox, day and nights are even. And then the day after the fall equinox, nighttime prevails. It's a little bit more darkness for those of us who live north of the equator um, than light, okay? So the midpoint from, from June to September, I'm sorry, from uh, March to September is June. So this is um, the summer solstice in the Masonic tradition, also known as St. John's Day. This is when the sun appears to be at its highest peak in the sky. Um, again, for those of us north of the equator, this is the first day of summer. And then what we're about to come up on in a couple weeks, December 21st, will be the winter solstice. For us, it looks like the sun is at its absolute lowest peak in the heavens. So me and the prime minister was having this conversation about if we just observe the sun alone, what would you call the new year? And he was adamant on, man, December 21st, the winter solstice is really the return of the light. And so if you could look at an astronomical diagram of where um, in December and November and in the months before, any time, any time after June, every month, the sun appears to be sinking it's getting lower and lower and lower and when we get to december the 21st the sun is at its lowest peak it then is each month afterwards it starts to rise higher and higher and higher again back to the equinox point march and then back to its highest peak in june june is at its highest peak and then it comes down back to the equinox and then it comes back down to its lowest peak. So we like, man, for real, for real, the real solar new year should be around December the 21st because the sun has risen. More light is now coming back to the earth. So that's why I always tell people and show people that this place is the cosmic illusion. On your first day of winter, it's freaking cold outside, but you are technically receiving more daylight. Daylight is increasing every single day. But yet it's cold. And on the first day of summer, June 21st, after that day, daylight is actually shrinking. But yet it gets hotter. You see what I'm saying? So this is a beautiful paradox of this place that we live in. So the winter solstice is when the sun is at its lowest peak for those in the northern hemisphere. All right, and it's the first day of summer for those who live below the celestial equator. Now, this is also the um, cosmology that deals with Jesus. The sun sat still for three days and on the third day it rose. So this is around December 21st, 22nd. Those three days take us to the 24th, 25th Christmas. Okay. And so the unique thing about this um, portal, because it's only two solstice points, a high point and a low point, St. John's Day, either in June or in December, this is a portal, this is a gateway, especially this time of year, because we're about to go around the corner, the earth is aligning itself up with the star Sirius in the sun, it's gonna be a straight line, and this only happens two times a year as well. But in this particular order, we're to be serious on the outside, then the earth in the middle, then the sun on the outside. This is a once in a year alignment that's about to take place, which is about to give way to the whole new year thing and everything. So this great truth can actually be verified again with um, the passing of the elder, Dr. Frances Cress Wilson, who when she made transition, I think she left out January, maybe in the third or the fourth, the second, third, or fourth, right up in that little pocket of that year, 
that's the that's the time known as the perillion when the earth is closer to the sun but the earth is also passing in between Sirius and the sun and it's given this three wise men this direct three star alignment that's taking place awesome awesome time and it all starts with the winter solstice starts to kick this thing off okay and so the sun appears to be in Capricorn the first day of winter winter solstice Capricorn the question is and nobody talks about this and see now now I understand why myself and my brother are buzz light years ahead of time and understanding the power of not only the mind but how to marry the mind with cosmic principles in physical activity and why we just get the results that we get so nobody's going to talk about well, well where's the earth if the sun appears to be in front of capricorn where is the physical body of the earth at this time okay well the earth is in front of the constellation cancer at this time what is cancer cancer is the sign of family okay sign of family all right so to reiterate my point let me back up a little bit with dr francis Cress wilson was serious she wrote the isis papers isis known as Oset, also before that known as septic the goddess of sirius so how is it that this woman wrote the isis papers who is really the Sirius goddess and then when the earth comes in perfect alignment with Sirius she leaves this place and transcend where did she go she went back to the cosmic gateway this is a real story man again I'm the Aquarius in the Aquarian age telling you what the truth is okay the ambassador of the great light of the Aquarian Ray. all right so back to the earth the earth is in the sign of cancer the sun appears to be opposite which is capricorn which is career success ambition your goals climbing the mountaintop perfect but the earth itself is sitting in a pocket that deals with family okay and so now because everything has a polarity male female up down cold hot everything has a polarity right and so there's always to a degree two things you should always be doing okay I doubt if you can get to anywhere just making a whole bunch of rights and if you do get there on your way back you're going to have to make all less so you always going to have to do two things okay always all right so a meditation that we're going to do on a winter solstice is going to pertain to where the earth is deals with what family okay that's why I'm telling you to join the family wealth club I put it on the 19th on purpose because it's something cosmically that's taking place ain't nobody talking about don't nobody even know about it okay so we're, we're marrying one cosmic phenomenon and for three days the 19th the 20 the 21st okay which is the actual solstice for three days we're doing a miraculous powerful um, it's obvious I mean if you you got to understand this place and what's taking place cosmically and then you have to start building your temples right so the ancients in Egypt built pyramids to point at stars for what like for what what's the function and people get lost by that and not really understand that these things represent certain psychological functions that we must activate within ourselves okay so you want to be stuck looking old and start the pyramids point at Orion and boring so what Serpent Mound in Ohio looks just like the Serpent Hydra, the longest constellation in all of the heavens. Okay, and how do you activate it? Go there and do what for yourself, okay? And so we're going to deal with a powerful meditation for three days dealing with the solstice and the uprising of yourself and family if your family members are coming along and your family members could be anybody who you designate as family and again like I said it can absolutely be yourself all right so join the family wealth club I only want to meditate with people that's thinking about wealth anyway if you ain't on the wealth thing I don't want to meditate with you I'm just gonna keep it a hundred and what I want to meditate with you for you don't believe in wealth and you may have this you may subscribe to a poverty mindset and you come in and dip in your energy with me 
no thank you. I'm good. And you should be good on that too. Because remember, the winter solstice, the sun, is actually shining a ray of light that deals with career and success. But the earth is actually dealing with family. The more synchronized we be, the more we can come together as a cohesive unit, the bigger the band of light called a laser that we can actually create and the more likely of us being able to draw that same vision back to ourselves, okay? So join the Family Wealth Club because that's how you get this three-day powerful, awesome meditation that we're going to be doing on the powerful winter solstice, all right? Right, so on the webinar, we're going to talk about equity. The first webinar, we're definitely going to talk about equity um, and preferred rates. And remember, Beyonce dropped some game this year, right, on, on ape shit. Give me my check. Put some respect on my check. Or pay me in equity. Pay me in equity. Watch me reverse out of dicks. So what do you mean pay me in equity? How do you determine it? Well, this is a real life situation. I gave it in the webinar. I'll, I'll share it here. Won't share the answer here, but we have to understand something that we are grossly divorced from understanding the basic mechanics of how to determine equity. And that, that's, that's sad, okay? But we gotta fix it. And so, I had a deal that came on the table a couple weeks ago, and it went like this. Hey, I know you guys are, uh, uh, heard you guys are interested in investing in Indianapolis. Here's the deal. Before we send it out to our pool of investors, which is over 4,000 people, we want to give you guys an opportunity. We already been out there, did the evaluation. You can list it at 289. We suggest listing it at 280, um, and you still walk away with $90,000 in profit. And only thing you need to do is bring 15,000 to the closing table, and the deal is yours. Make sure we already approved the loan. I forget the amount that they approved it for. And the rehab budget was already approved at 70000 okay? And so here, here's the math from what I could remember, all right? So um, they're going to bring 50, 155 to the table. We're bringing 15000 to the table. That will be 170. They need, um, they need our 15 to make it happen, of course. Um, the deal can list at 289, but you can sell it for 280,000. You sell it for 280, you're gonna profit 90,000 off the deal. Okay. So with those numbers right there, how do you determine what your equity position would be? Okay. So you know you gotta put 15,000 in the game. All right. A lot of people don't understand that because they're factoring in irrelevant numbers in this particular question. I want to help you understand with crystal freaking clarity because my, my opinion is this, if we don't understand that basic construct math, of mathematics, then we're going to, um, it, that, it, just going, it just mirrors what I call the financial report card of why you may not individually have um, great finances to be honest with you, all right? So we're going to talk about this equity position versus these other positions and and why the equity play is really the greatest play that you can be in. So we definitely getting inside of that. And um, that's what she meant by that. That was a powerful statement. And I'm glad that she dropped that. So definitely get to this first webinar, 1219, three day free meditation when you join and whatnot. It's only 37 bucks a month. And after starting in January, there is a one-time fee that's coming, so you want to get in in December and make this first round of classes. Man, do something great, man. Like, literally align yourself, man. The problem is, man, if you're talking all this, uh, a lot of people talk about my yacht and balance and things of that nature, but we don't understand the cosmic rhythm, the cosmic groove, and we need to put ourselves in this groove, make that declaration of independence, when it comes to these specific things of what we're dealing with, it then ride the natural cycle of energy, okay? I'm telling you, this place could be measured. You got four seasons and blah, blah, blah. You can measure your reality. This is why we could be like, hey, 
in June, XYZ is going to happen. So it'd be nice if you start doing XYZ because you can get that. Or even if you don't know, we could be like, hey, this day come, be careful because you could be in an accident. You ain't paying no attention, bam, you get into an accident. We gotta grow into understanding the science and theology of time, okay? And then most importantly, the applications to things um, that, the application of the things that we say that we want so we can have the best of life experiences, man. So join us in the Family Wealth Club for this powerful winter solstice um, meditation. And this is from 2019 and for life, forever, all right? Peace.